Hey everyone, it's 1216 and we have a beautiful afternoon here just in time for your Friday. So get out and enjoy it. Already very comfortable, very warm. It's 81 in Burlington. Same with Schuyler Falls, Morrisville, 80 degrees, 78 in Derby. Comfortable for just about everyone. Albrecht is 77 degrees. Uh, essentially, we've got a really nice afternoon here ahead of us, as you can see here from Worcester. Looking pretty good. Just a few of those fair weather clouds out and about, but a gorgeous looking afternoon to enjoy. And again, just in time for your Friday. Some of those broken clouds building up over the higher terrain. No surprise that you can see some of those uh, right over the Adirondacks and then up towards the Northeast Kingdom and right along the White Mountains too. But the rest of us are under a beautiful blue clear sky. Here's the afternoon high temperatures. Maybe a couple more degrees to go, especially especially in our valley area. Springfield ends up near 86 this afternoon, same with Pulteney. 83 in Arlington, same with Bennington. South wind, 5, 10 miles per hour or so at most, but other than that, it is really quiet. A high pressure system has settled in and it's bringing us some really nice weather. 86 in Johnson and Milton, 88 in Burlington this afternoon, 85 degrees in Middlebury. We have that mostly clear sky. I'd call for maybe a spot shower if you're in the higher terrain, but I think very, very few of us will come across any of those. E-Town, 85 today, 81 one in Tupper Lake, 84 in Malone, 85 degrees for Shazy. Here are those spot showers showing up over the Adirondacks. Abundant sunshine for everyone else here on Futurecast. There's really not a whole lot going on for your Friday afternoon. So make some plans to enjoy your Friday afternoon and evening outside because we have that nice sun shining, but we also have, like I said, those comfortable temperatures. Yes, going to be a little toasty out, but the humidity isn't too bad. We've got dew points near 60, so it's pretty comfortable out there. As we head into your Saturday, it's much of the same. Quiet to start, a few broken clouds at most, but you end up with a few of those popping up in the afternoon. And like today, a spot shower in the higher terrain isn't out of the question, but we're forecasting essentially mostly dry for the vast majority of us. And if you do come across some of those spot showers, you're probably one of the very unlucky, very few people. Here's your Saturday. Clouds start to build in perhaps a few of those in the morning hours, but we have a few more of those firing up in the afternoon ahead of a cold front. As that cold front moves through, you're going to find that triggering a couple showers and a few thunderstorms. These are going to be scattered in nature, so they're not widespread, and I do think we'll find some sunshine in between them. Just have a heads up. If you're out and about on your Sunday, it's going to be those summertime storms that develop in the afternoon hours. So heads up if you're out and about, you want to watch out for a few of those. The most, the majority of your weekend rather is going to be nice and dry and it's also going to be very warm too. So you've got that chance on Sunday to see some scattered showers and a few embedded thunderstorms. Some of that could come along with some heavier rain. We're going to have some moisture building in on Sunday. Starts to get a little bit sticky in addition to those warmer temperatures in the mid 80s. Pretty muggy on Monday and Tuesday as well and we continue with that chance for some scattered showers and likely a few embedded thunderstorms. But none of these days are necessarily washouts. So we're going to watch that forecast but expect some of that unsettled weather to stick around through the middle and likely all the way possibly through your Thursday morning. That's a slow moving series of systems here that is going to trigger that. But it does bring us a cool down and by the end of the work week a little bit more comfortable when it comes to our temperatures.